Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video looks at the e-bike that I built with the CYC Photon motor for my wife and it explores the concept of the free bike that can make the best e-bike that you can get. And when I mean free, I mean essentially that this bike was bought 15 years ago. My wife wanted an e-bike so she could get to work and not have to shower or visit her mum without being exhausted from going up the hill. So I thought I'd see what I could do with the CYC photon motor and a Saturday morning. The frame is a very old step through Norco and it's not really my cup of tea, but it suits my wife. The cleaning of the frame actually took longer here than getting the motor on. In terms of parts, all that I needed to do was get some new grips for the top and a fresh chain. So the motor is the CYC photon and it does actually hang down a little bit lower here on this frame because it has this bend to it. I've not actually put the throttle on it so far because I was not really using it on my other build. The battery here at the back is a 52 volt, 25 amp power pack from EcoCycle. I was not happy with the way it felt when it was on the mounting points here in the middle. So I've made this platform at the back and it has a piece of pine, a piece of foam to insulate against bumps and also keep water away from spray from the back, although there is there is a mudguard there already. Really appreciate David for sending the battery over. I'm also gonna be making a cover that goes all the way around the whole of this battery to shield it from kind of rain. The pack is really a bit of overkill in size for most of the trips my wife will be making. So I'm also gonna be using this build to test out and experiment with the 36 volt weldless battery that I'm making and see how that performs. So like really it's nothing crazy with this build at all. It's gonna do an amazing job though and it's gonna save a ton of money in gas as well as in things like parking fees. The point here I'm making is that as a society we are swimming in bikes like this that can be made into e-bikes that are as good if not better than getting a pre-built budget e-bike. Like to do this, it essentially cost me 1800 US dollars. So that's a thousand for the photon and 700 for the battery and $100 for odds and sods. This build could be much cheaper still. What if instead of the photon down here, I used a motor that cost $500 and I built the battery with reclaimed cells. Then you could reduce the cost of doing all this to maybe $700 and still have almost as good an outcome. So here's the challenge for people. I want you guys to find me a pre-built e-bike from the likes of Bike Tricks or Luna or one of these companies that can compete with what I've done here. Just to be generous, let's say I spent an extra $200 on this build and replaced the suspension seat and added a hydraulic disc brake to the front. So let's say $2,000. There are pre-built e-bikes that you can get for $2,000 or less, but that bike can't compete with what I have here. The motor here in the middle is a mid-drive with a very high quality torque sensor. The pre-built is very likely going to be a hub motor at the back with a cadence-based sensor only. The control system on here lets you adjust many aspects of how the bike rides and you probably won't get that with the pre-built either. The battery here at the back is 52 volts versus the 36 volts or 48 volts you'll get in a pre-built and the capacity at 25 amp hours is at least twice as much as well. I don't think that you guys are going to find anything that would be close to this bike available commercially for the amount of money that I've spent on it. If you want to know something that's really absurd though, the DIY stuff is generally excluded from government programs to help people with the cost of an e-bike. So people are being forced into buying cheap e-bikes that are often not fit for purpose. They're ending up in landfill as these companies come and go. And all the while that person likely had bike just like this in the garage that they could have converted. The government would have saved money, the owner would have a better bike and save money. We would save resources. The only people that would lose out are the companies making budget e-bikes, which is why they lobby the crap out of regulatory bodies to keep conversion motors to keep conversion motors from becoming more mainstream. I'm going to do another video on the lobbying aspects pretty soon because it's driving me nuts. Anyway, there will be a bit of ride footage now of this beast in action. And as always, thanks for watching. Huge thanks to the channel members. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Cheers.